This episode of Texilla is sponsored by Audible. Anupam emails us asking, I started a YouTube channel and I want to upgrade from screencast to real world videos. At first I was looking into the Kodak ZI8, but a lot of people are telling me by spending a little more, I can get a lot more features. My budget is under $300. I found a lot of cameras, but with no mic in or stereo mic on board. I don't want full 1080p HD without audio. Please help me out. Anupam <laughs> from India. Sweet. Oh man, $300 is a tight price point for a camcorder that does everything you want it to. Um, the ZI8 you're talking about, nice camera. I've used one. I think I actually still own one, but that whole sort of not quite a camcorder, not quite a standalone device has right. kind of been killed because cell phones, smartphones have decent video or comparable video recording built in. Typically, most camcorders in the US market are kind of in the $400, $500 range. That's the sweet spot for people purchasing camcorders. Great site to visit is uh, CNET's reviews.cnet.com slash camcorders. Uh, they have really decent reviews on most of the camcorders currently on the market. Uh, the, their, their digital camera reviews are fantastic also, but it's really, really, really good resource for finding good video cameras or camcorders. Next stop, you should check out B&H Photo. Um, B&H Photo or B&H Photo and Video, basically B&H is like this legendary old school New York City place where people from all over the world buy uh, video equipment and photography equipment and lighting kits and everything you can imagine that's used in video production. You don't necessarily need to buy from there, but the reviews, there's detailed specs, there's excellent price, and gives you a good idea of what something should cost, exactly what the specs are, and the people reviewing stuff there have a clue. It'll give you a really good idea of what you might want. Now, make sure if you need PAL support for your particular region, which you probably will if you need to watch on a TV set, that the camcorder supports PAL. If you plan on just editing and watching it on a PC, uploading it to YouTube, it shouldn't be an issue. We suggest, Robert, uh, excuse me, Roger Chang actually was all over this, and he suggested you not look at the Kodak ZI8 pocket video <laughs> camera that I've opened up right there, which I actually point out, the, the Kodak ZI8 actually isn't even available anymore. You'd be buying it used if you could even find it. Kodak's kind of out of that market along with everybody Skip else. It. What you want to look for is the Vixia HF R400 Full HD camcorder. Nice. $249 uh, with free shipping. It's like a $50 instant discount till the end of the month. Uh, free shipping, at least in the United States. And you get a microphone input. Now, the image quality in poor light is going to be noisy, right? It's going to be better than the, the camera you've been using inside of your laptop or the little inexpensive uh, camera you use plugged into a USB port. But compared to, you know, the more money you spend, if you choose carefully, you'll get much better low light performance, which means indoor stuff will be better. If you're not running around a lot of lights, um, you know, you want some of the camera that has low light performance or excellent low light performance. Um, be sure to factor in the price of an SD8C card since the R400 doesn't have any internal memory. So you're going to need the Vixia HF R400 and then you're going to look for da -da, <laughs> an SD8C card. Um, My there, favorite. Yeah, actually the prices on these have gotten so inexpensive. Uh, Transcend I've had pretty good luck with. $23 for a 32 gigabyte card. Uh, the 64 gigabyte cards, even the really unhinged ones from get, SanDisk. Get the cl any class 10 card should yeah. be fine for, for video recording purposes. So, and, and size wise, go as big as you can, but usually the biggest cards, like the new 128 gig SD cards, are gonna be a little more expensive than the 60, maybe a pair of 64s. Right. But that's not always the case though, usually. So just, just make sure you have plenty of storage on hand. And then the whole conversation about microphones is a separate conversation, but at least at this point, you will have a, in a camcorder in your price range that can record a fair amount of video. Um, and I like that it's supported ABC input. HD as well as MPEG-4 formats yeah. as well with that camera. So if you want something that will just upload right, I, actually I wouldn't be surprised if YouTube accepts ABC HD now as a format for upload. It's something I'll probably try later this afternoon, but <laughs> you, have, you have options at least in terms of what video format you want to save your files in. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. What I'm listening to right now is Among Others by Joe Walton. If you're a science fiction and fantasy fan, you will love this book. Head over to audible.com slash Texella to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. And be sure to check out Audible's newly designed iPad app as well. It is gorgeous.